So Greg, let's start with a definition. The topic is predators, so let's define it right off the top. Okay. What's a predator? A predator is simply an animal that eats another animal. So the animal that's doing the eating is the predator, and the animal that's getting eaten is the prey. The prey. Okay. Yes. So we have predators and prey. So let's let's think. Let's give a little example here. Let's think. Uh, everybody has probably seen National Geographic or Discovery mm -hmm. Channel Animal or Planet. Animal Planet, and maybe they've seen the typical predator and prey situation that I always think of when I think of the subject. Which one is that? And that would be the lion on the plains of Africa as he runs after and captures the antelope. And that's his prey. So, you know, the antelope is like a deer mm -hmm. kind of animal. So mm -hmm. that's typical predator and prey situation I think everybody can probably relate to because you've probably seen those films. Okay, that's an example everyone probably is familiar with. But it leads me to ask you the question, does a predator have to be large? Predators don't have to be large. They come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, for example, um, predators can be insects eating other insects. Mm -hmm. Predators can be mammals eating insects. Predators can be reptiles even. Um, lizards, little lizards eating other lizards, snakes eating small mammals, and even you know other reptiles, large reptiles. So you kind of answered the other question I was going to ask. A predator doesn't necessarily have to be a mammal. This is true. Predators don't always have to be mammals. Okay. They can be birds. They could be birds. They can be mammals. They can be reptiles. Speaking of reptiles, they can be insects. Would you have an example of a reptile? I have a small example that we might have. Let's to, you start know, small. We we'll can start. Build our, we'll build, we'll our build way up from it. there. We'll go to the we'll, we'll, but you know, we'll see if our camera person can get this in on the okay. closer. All right, something small. We may have to zoom in on this. Fun. This is monstrous. Very monstrous. This now, is. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. If, if you'll permit me. I will. We know it's a reptile. We know it's. We've established that. And I'm going to say. It's either a crocodile or an alligator. And so, you would be correct when you said crocodile. Crocodile. Because we do not have alligators here okay. in Panama. We only have the American crocodile, uh, unlike Florida, which also has uh, alligators. This is huge this and is, heavy. It's very, very heavy. And this is just the head. This is just the skull with none of the flesh on How it. How big was the real thing? The real thing, this is a, an example of a, of a crocodile that was found on the lake about ten years ago by the game wardens and they measured the skull, they took all the proper measurements and they estimated that this was probably five meters long. That's huge. Five we know, times three and change is right. we about know sixteen feet long. About sixteen feet long because we know a meter is just over three feet. So that's a very, very large animal. Should we establish what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, why don't we start we'll start this is the back of the skull. So why don't we start from right, the back so there? Back here is where the rest of the crocodile. That's where be. the rest of the crocodile okay. is. What your pen is on now right is where it's attached. And those are attached to very large muscles, which op you know help operate okay. the, the whole jaw system. Okay. And I'm assuming these are eyes. Right yes, here. they are. And and you notice how the eyes. Another one. We're, here. we're going to tilt, tilt it a little bit, bit. just just you know so you can see that there eye. You go. So we don't just, slip. But we're you know yeah. So here's one eye. That's an eye. And here's the second eye. Hold right on. now. Notice how the eyes are actually on top of the mm -hmm. head. So being a predator, this animal, he can lie in the water and just have just the very top of his head exposed right. and, and hide still the rest. be able and hide the rest and still be able to breathe and see so he can get his prey. And that would explain why the nostrils are also up on top. Exactly. So the eyes and the nostrils, which I'm going to tilt it again just so we can point to that nostrils there in the front, that sitting right on top of the head so he can sit with just a minimum of this animal showing. Think of something that's 16 foot long and only just the tiny top of them is showing above the water. It's a very well camouflaged. It's a classic deception. It's a classic deception, and that's why he's such a successful predator. How about another example of a reptile? Okay, I'm going to come up with this one. This one is kind of neat. This one is unusual. Uh -huh. Okay, this is Look way different. Yes, it is. Much smaller, now, as you can see. Let's let's, why don't you orient ourselves okay, we'll around so we know which way front. it's facing. This is the back, so this would connect to the rest of the animal. Right. We're not going to reveal what it is right now. And here's a fairly substantial jawbone, and I'm seeing teeth that are curved 
my my images they're curved like fish hooks. Right. See they now they look a lot like fish hooks. Well, they're they're curved in here. They're recurved teeth, and anything that gets into the jaws of this animal would have a real hard time escaping because if you're pulling out, you're actually working against mm -hmm. that curve. So you're actually sticking yourself You'd be like making a, it worse. like a barb on a fish hook. And there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of them. You can see that big row of teeth. That's I don't a see lot anything of teeth. that resembles a molar. There's no molars here. Okay. These are all, look at those teeth. Now, Let's I'm gonna, take a look. I'm, I'm gonna turn it around to the front. This is the way the animal would actually be facing now, you. Now right here, I'm seeing something missing. I'm seeing what, what would be like my chin. Right. That is, now you see that it's just a piece of metal that the they put in there to, hold it in to place? help hold it, hold it okay. in place. But what you would find there would be ligaments, very wow. stretchable ligaments. So this animal is not only able to open its jaw up and down, but it's right. able to stretch open a little bit this way. And these ligaments would be on the top as well? On the top as well. So it could, it could open up to an enormous... An enormous size. gape, an enormous gape. Let's take a look at the eyes, if you can turn it forward. Okay, I'm going to come here. Because here's the eyes, and there's one here, and there's one here, and the nostrils in if that I'm area, correct, yes, right here. That, that you are correct, and they're somewhat so, on the top of the head. Also. I guess I get to guess again what this is. Yes, we're, it's this is your guessing show. Um, I would guess it's a, some kind of. Well, you said it's a reptile, but if you didn't say that, I would have said it was some kind of fish, like yeah, a piranha. Right. It would, but, would have been a good guess with that kind of yeah, tooth work. But since you're saying it's a, a reptile, uh, I'm going to say some kind of water snake. Well, but I can't say specifically which kind. Okay, it is a snake indeed. It's a very, very large, large snake oh. called an anaconda. Anaconda. An anaconda. Now we don't have anacondas here in Panama. They mm -hmm. they're much further south in South America, okay. but we do have similar species. And this was a nice example because it was large, so we could show you those teeth. We're gonna go for this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Okay. One of the big I like ones. favorites. This is a top carnivore. Top carnivore. So we're not gonna find any molars or crushing and grinding Ooh. teeth on this particular Whoa. animal. Wow, it's a pretty big okay. skull. It's a scary skull. It's a scary skull with those big okay. scary teeth. Let's orient from front from back to front again. Okay. This is where the neck muscles and the rest of the right. animal would that's, be. Yeah, and very you can see that's very large. It's a big area. Big area, very, very powerful neck on this animal. I'm seeing here a tremendous jawbone. Tremendous, so yes. It must be very powerful. Extremely powerful. I'm seeing eyes. At the top of the head? Very, yes, at the, at the top of the head, towards the front, and very okay. large eye sockets. And I'm seeing canine teeth that are that big. So once again, let me put my thumb there, just so you can see. It's almost as long as my entire thumb. This is a big tooth. This is a very, very big tooth. And we have other teeth here, where, in, where as the other animal had molars, this has other special teeth mm -hmm. that act as a tool. Right here, I see. Yes, and these teeth are called the carnassial teeth. Carnassial. Yes, and they're very unique in that they fit. I'm seeing when you push it down that the upper ones go outside of the right. lower ones. Right, they actually will cross each other so and they work like a tool. They are made for shredding and slicing meat. Just like a pair of scissors. Well, let me see. I'll go the opposite direction, okay. but I'll hold the scissor here. All right. That work there you for go. you, Jackie? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I'm going in the opposite direction, but it's the same idea. It's the same idea of ripping through a piece of paper. These will rip through meat. And these teeth are unique only to cats. Cats are the only animals that have so these. So this is a cat? This is a cat. Okay. See, I gave the mystery away. This okay. is a large predator, top what predator. What type of cat It's is called it? a jaguar. These teeth are in any and all kinds of cats? Any and all kinds, including house cats. So, so your house has a cat kitty at, at home? Correct. Your house cat at home is going to have the same carnassial teeth. Wow.